now in this final lecture of this section we will discuss about uh, variable arguments so variable arguments was introduced in uh, jdk version 5 so it is a feature which allows uh, variable number of parameters to a particular method so if you have a method in which we will denote a variable argument parameter as dot 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 three dots followed by the parameter name so that parameter will be considered to be as a variable argument parameter and it will we can handle the variable type uh, variable argument parameter by using an uh, how we how we handle an array like that we can handle the variable argument parameter so that uh, there will be no issues this is a requirement which was laterly introduced so uh, it is very helpful if we, we don't need to have a parameter for example if the, we need to have a function with like 10 parameters 10 parameters everything that can be reduced to have a variable argument parameter so to avoid the length of uh, parameter uh, method parameters also we can use the variable argument parameter and one more thing about variable argument parameters we can have only one per method and another thing about is it is if there is multiple parameters or including the variable parameter variable argument parameter in a in a method then the variable argument parameter should be declared the last so that the compiler will be able to fetch it correctly and let, let us uh, discuss about some programs based on variable arguments now let us see a program for variable arguments in java so here here i declared a method some method in the some method i am taking a parameter which is variable argument so here you can see followed by the int i have declared three dots to denote the variable argument and so in the name of the variable argument is param and in the method what i am doing how i am accessing it is how i access an array the same way i can access the particular value of param value so like that i am accessing and finally you can see how i am adding the numbers to together to return the sum of the numbers param values that is the logic of this program and in the main method i am calling the same method with a different set of parameters first i will not call have any parameter then i will have one parameter then two parameter and three parameter like that so this will explain how the uh, no how the parameter will work the variable argument parameter how it is working let us see the output for this so here you can see the all the uh, some values is calculating for the all the method calls and uh, this is how variable argument is working now let us see an another example on variable arguments now let us discuss a program on variable arguments which has uh, multiple arguments uh, in this method you can see in this method print this method has uh, uh, two parameters uh, the first the last parameter is a variable argument parameter so here we are accessing the variable argument parameter like an array and printing out the values and here i am doing the system dot out dot print line so that uh, people will be able to understand the output and uh, next thing which we need to in the main method main method i am calling this method with a different set of parameters so to know whether how the variable argument parameter is working now let us see the output for this so here you can see the output has came so the values are getting appended to the single line that is how the logic of that flow of the program so let us wind up this section this lecture by in summarizing it so here in this lecture lecture we are going through the variable argument parameter concept in java so it allows us to have variable length parameters and this is a very good feature so in methods where we, we are not sure with how much parameter it will come we can declare a variable argument parameter and then use it to use an array to array concept to iterate to iterate the variable arguments that's it for this lecture. Thank you for watching.